Hello guys, welcome to our introduction video. I am Vasil Dimitrov and I will present you what we will learn in our advanced course of Vscript. Something important for the training. To get the most out of this course you need to have some basic skills. The first of these is the basics of programming. If you do not understand what variables, procedures, functions and loops are, you would have a hard time understanding the content of the current course. It is also highly recommended that you take this university's scripting course. It will introduce you to the basics of the Vscript language and its syntax. In this training we will show templating ideas and demonstrate functionality. So the material assumes you have these two skills. First of all, we will see how to register parameters of different types. String parameters, double parameters, int parameters, drop down parameters and other types. After that, we will see how to get the values from these parameters and set them to some containers in our scene. For example, you can see here, I have Germany as value of my first parameter, but I can type USA and when I click apply changes, here the value of this text is changed to USA. Also we will see how to work with keyframes and how to get the keyframes by name. Also we will see how to use double parameter to set values to these keyframes. In our case we will see how to increase the height of the bars using just one double parameter. And that's not all. You can see when I change the value of bar height, this value above the bar is changed too. So there is no need to set the same value to two different places. Other interesting things in our course is how to set precision of our numbers using just one integer parameter. When I increase the precision, you can see the number of symbols after the decimal point increases. Also very interesting and useful is to set symbol for decimal point of our numbers. It can be comma, it can be dot or other different symbol. Also we will see how to set the same value to many different containers. In our example this is scaling. I will increase scaling of every bar and you can see the height of the bars is changing proportionally. Other case in our script here is labels scale. When I increase this double parameter, the font size of every labels below the bars increases or decreases. And that's not all. We will see how to implement option for choosing how many bars to show in our scene. When I click to three bars, you can see here the last two bars are hided and in my script I see only the first three where I can set text values for these labels below the bars. Also we will see how to use color parameters. In this script we can register color parameter and set this color somewhere in our scene. Or other cases in our course is setting color depending of string parameter. For example, now the color of bar is red, but if I write instead of USA Sweden and click apply changes, you can see yes, the text in the label below the bar is changed to Sweden, but the color of the bar is changed too. We will see how to create logic which will do this. In this script we can work with images too. We will see how to register image parameters, how to use images in our scene and how to create logic to set images depending of some text. For example, you can see the country flag above my first bar is Ukrainian flag because in the first field the text is Ukraine, but when I set Germany, for example, in the first field and click apply changes, you can see the country flag 
is changed automatically depending of my text which I typed here in this field. Other very useful and interesting thing is how to set background image to our scene and control the state of this image. You know in scene settings every scene has option for setting background and this background can be active or inactive. We will see how to get some image and set this image as background of our scene. How to deactivate this background or how to activate it. Also we will learn how to set or delete stop keyframes. You know in every scene you can set some stop or delete this stop keyframe. We will see how to do that using this script. For example, if I want to set stop keyframe to one second of my scene, we will see how to do that just clicking on one button. And you can see now I here have a stop keyframe. And the opposite is deleting. When I click on delete, now going to stage and I'm seeing here I have no more stop keyframes. Also, we will see how to add geometry plugins and function plugins just using this script. For example, in this field I will type the name of some geometry plugin of built-in. For example, circle. And when I click to add geometry plugin, you can see here in this container I changed the plugin from Nogi to circle. In other case, here in this field I can type the name of function plugin, for example autofollow and when I click to add function plugin, just you can see now I have autofollow here, just using one button. Also we will see how to set parameters of geometry plugins and function plugins. For example, let me see, go to circle plugin and see radius of this circle is 50. I can set different value, for example 80 and when I go again to circle plugin radius now is 80. The same is in function plugins. I will go to this plugin control keyframe and you can see here I have text parameter with value some parameter value. Using this script I can change the value of this parameter just typing some text. Text. And now if I go to control keyframe plugin, here the parameter is with different value. And also we will see how to add alpha to our container and how to set the value of this alpha. Of course we will see and many others very interesting and useful things. Thank you for choosing this course, I am Vasil Dimitrov, let we start.